Oh, oh shit. Shoot, the camera's on. <clears throat> Welcome to Crossroads, everybody. Where we have two, um, I'd say, evenly matched players. It's been a while since Theodosius has uh, played a game here on the ladder, as you can see. But hey, this is gonna be a good one. So let's step outside where the sun is shining, birds are chipping, rear echelons capping. It is Ace Hero in the red playing as Murica. And he is locked in Rifle Company. And he is up against Theodosius playing as the Austere, who is making a beeline towards this strategic point, I guess. Or does he want to wire something off? The reason why he would want to go over here is get some scouting information and boy he'll get some information one bullet at a time here we go oh well he should have sicked when he sacked instead he zigzagged straight into aces the rifleman here yeah heavy machine gun coming over there leaving the grins to capture the first point for theodosius who by the way went for um German recognized doctrine. Also bulletins here. More suppression. More uh, XP and a little more accuracy. And of course over here the closed fist, cheaper mines and the P4 earns veterancy faster. Neat. There we go. Theodosius finally getting some territory on the, to his name here. Whereas Ace has already, uh, well, Captured a lot of territory, but Theodosius is picking up the s the pace, denies some much crucial green cover, or at least some of it. Oh, okay. A little bit of nice barbed wire here as well. Gonna make it harder to flank if there's an HMG in the, the area here. Shoot, Maestro, if you please. Yes, thank you. That was excellent, excellent shot, Jimmy. Uh, I don't know if he's called Jimmy, but I'll just call him Jimmy. Pew, pew. Guys, you're not being suppressed. Well, you are, but come on. There we go. Chop, chop. Turn fire. Are they waiting for that? Yeah, they were waiting for their boy. Oh, boy, rifleman. Getting cut down here by the Pios. Yeah, Pioneers are actually good versus Riflemen and Conscripts up close. That is, if they can get up close where they can do the damage, you know, them just charging in on set units is gonna end in a disaster. Well... Theodosius is just strolling. You saw nothing. He's just strolling up there, trying to get the cutoff and the fuel point at the same time. No fuel for you. Yeah. I do believe that these guys, or at least one of them, may benefit from green cover, but the others, that's a no go. Oh, three versus one. Three pencil pushers versus... Yeah, grin. Eh, let's call it a draw. Oh, ho, ho. On a retreat. Come on. No, 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 no. She gave chase. Ah. I'll get you next time. By the way, that's what we also in Denmark call a Swedish shuffle. Shuffling their cards like this. Um, yes. Fun fact. Right? Escalation to battle phase one is complete. And there are still holes here in Theodosius' map. Like a Swiss cheese. Unlock happening. And these rear echelons, they, they'd love to see an ambulance, but hey, 
my predictions are we'll probably see a steward first and then an ambulance in terms of vehicles 50 cal on the scene getting ready with that hailstorm bulletin All right standing on oh the grenade the play beautiful execution there by theodosius green cover didn't do diddly that well a zero on this side of the map here looking to take it what he believe is his two 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 on the way the fifth caliber ready sandbags going up 20 more fuel to go and then it's Stuart time oh yeah the pizza base gotta wait for them to run all the way around then get inside when then you can select an order there to reinforce because apparently this path is not wide enough for the troops to walk through I dislike that and I don't believe I'm the only one who dislikes it. 50 cal. Just gonna connect the fuel and also standing by, re ready to engage the 222. Lieutenant here. Yeah, they have taken up residence within this garrison here. And, uh,. The heavy machine gun has seen fit to decorate the house with uh, a lot of bullet holes. It's the new rage. Getting that aesthetic World War II look. Flank and turn tail runs form a single line. Thank you. I do hear the 2 to 2 that has taken minor damage. Where's the others? Oh, there they are. Got a load. A little bit of sight blocker there coming in handy. But yeah, um, a second of not paying attention when your, uh, <laughs> your 2 to 2 is being attacked by armor piercing rounds is... Uh, can be fatal again a little shooty no shooty machine gun here unsupported by nothing a steward followed by ambulance and fourth grin did go for the pack gun before the second well fourth grin There it is, the steward. USA! USA! The little light tank. Heading straight for pack territory. Where the 2 to 2 is also ready to uh, engage it. Pack gun misses. A little bit of dust has been kicked up. Is pack gun taking another shot. No. No dice. And the 50 cal is also here. How nice. Still the damage on the 2 to 2 is uh, mounting. And the steward. Out of range. Targets the 2 to 2. Should be able to survive another shot. Or not anymore though. Oh, in the miss. Pack gun. Returns fire. Right, Ace, he's got a lot of munitions stockpiled. Yeah, bar has been unlocked. Give me that bar. Did he just go for double? Yes, double bar on this squad here. There we go, that's... That was one bar. And another. One for each of you, I suppose. All right, let's check in. Yeah, Theodosius with the LMGs also coming in. There we go, second one. 
It won't be long before... Um, yeah, he already has enough for the next LMG upgrade for his Grenadiers. Oh, hello, 222. How nice of you. Knocking on the door here. Door's sturdy. And again, 50 cal. Just without a range. Stuart. Little bit of damage on 2222. And Pekon is relocating. But here's Murica. Yeah, Pekon continues to fall back. Any attempts of walking through here will would have been met with lots of riflemen. Battle phase two is is a go, but Theodosia is going for the mortar, which is a sensible choice given that we are on uh, crossroads, which tend to be campy. Also, gonna help out versus the uh, the fifty cal whenever it's trying to lock down the middle. Either with its uh, indirect fire or smoke. Kaboom. Yeah, this is the only squad there. The last one that needs uh, LMGs. Support armor corps coming up. Ace, has he, uh... No, he hasn't teched yet for a Major. It would have been quite early for him to do so. He's working on getting in some more fuel within supply. And Lieutenant with the bazooka ready to deal with the 2-2-2. Two -two -two. And Theodosius better keep this one alive, as said previously. Crossroads can get a lot of campy, so a 2 to 2 with the uh, spotting scopes here will help pick um, will help pick targets when the um, Americans have dug in, making the mortar's job a little easier. Or, of course, the um, Panzerwerfer, if we get to see one of those. Ah, yes. Spotting scopes is a go. I do hear something over here, and that is the screams of the Grenadiers dying. Dying. Like that. Oh, do we have someone who's not wielding double bars? Lieutenant. And this other rifle squad who are apparently very far away. This could be an opportunity for uh, Theodosius to get double LMGs on his grins. And I feel as... Oh. Yikes. Well, the replacement was not enough. We're gonna need a new one. <laughs> Mine explodes there. All right. No, that was um, mortar. And another grin. Well, that puts Theodosius considerably back in terms of manpower. He would have been able to get out a tank if he would just cancel this and then just wait a little bit. And then just get that armor out first. I'd say that should have a first priority. <laughs> Priority. Ooh. And there we go. Yoink. Now these riflemen has got some serious bite in them. Let's see if Theodosius can score a wipe. No, I don't think so. Hmm. He just got around the corner. Down on the street. And now the steward has been left with guard duty. Hey, just in time to earn its uh, battle veterancy, the one that actually improves its combat prowlness. Whereas the other ones are more of. Uh, yeah, awareness. It's recon. 
side. Ooh. Alrighty then. Clickety click. Click click. A one, a two, a one, two, three, go! Oh, it could have been so beautiful. There we go. And yeah, Ace, the lieutenant, the major, pardon me, on the field right now. He may not be as uh, as a tough of a combat unit, but he can still be very useful going around capping territory. Also slap a couple of bazookas on him and then watch him deal a little bit of damage to uh, armor. Which is also good for him betting up. Is one of the guys not firing? Yeah, the guy here. He's not returning fire. He doesn't have a uh, he doesn't have an angle onto them. And he's the one with one of the upgraded weapons. Hmm. Alrighty then. Panther 4. With the GCS decal. Heading straight to Major Town. And let's see Ace. It's good to go for a Sherman. Perhaps he wants to go with Jackson slash Scott this time around. Let's check in uh, over here. Double Sooks on the Lieutenant. Both of them misses. Sad. Keep that alive! Oh god, few those just please pay attention! It's dead, it's dead. Oh. That's quite the loss. Oh well. Mortar? Mortar? Please? Okay, there we go. Helps on the way. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Theo. Gonna secure double fuel for him. Though he needs to get uh, get the fuel flowing, get that supply line reestablished. Oh, right, of course, Rifle Company. He did want the Sherman. The bigger one. The easy aid. But there's only one of them. Why did I call it eight? <gasps> I do not know. Ah, spotting scopes. Right on. And this P4 is really chewing into that rifle squad. No fuel for you. Got some uh, flanking attempt here, but yeah, this 50 cal here, heavy machine gun, MG42 sets up. And yeah, it's not really suppressing yet. Any grenade? Ah, there we go. Suppression. Meanwhile. Oh, that's bad. Walking uh, your pack gun into a heavy machine gun fire. Whoa. That guy came flying. Nope, sorry guys, not gonna help out. You gotta go. Hmm. We'll be uh, witnessing a stuk. Not bad at all, not bad at all. It's a um, great value anti-tank. Meanwhile, back in base, yeah, they're just getting healed and ace capturing some VPs here. He is currently double capped when it comes to the VPs and he's behind on uh, the VPs as well. And here they are, these happy men. Hmm. Oh, the rear echelons! Oh no, they're 
they're hurting us. <laughs> Set the grins and stay ran away. Right, you know the drill behind the tractor. Sturdy tractor. Captain. All right. And white force press deployed. Ha! <laughs> Mortar with the vibe. Lots of smoke here. Mm. Captain still in base. If it weren't for that rifle wide there, I would have guessed Ace might have ordered him off the field. Oh! Yep, Captain, you better get out here and Lieutenant. Yeah, ow, ow, ow. In that fight, it was definitely the armor that won. Oh, 50 cal also falling apart. Uh, is he gonna go for it or what happening? Nope. Well, that 50 cal is rubbish now. Uh, we had an anti-tank gun, more white phosphorus being deployed. Uh, where is the AT gun? It's coming out from the other side of the map. And the Stuk is just driving on by here, trying to take on the uh, the little Stuart, Stuart Little. Snare. <gasps> Captain gonna die. Yeah, and... Ah, almost got away with it, if it weren't for that middling Sherman. Oh, 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 yeah, gets a D crew and thus resetting the um, experience. That's something. Consolation prize, eh? And another Stuart coming, no, Stuart Stuk. This is the little happy nephew, and the Stug is the grumpy uncle that likes to discuss politics at family gatherings. Well, Ace, he's replacing uh, one of his lost rifles. Mm hmm. Right, map almost equally divided here by both players, as expected. It is crossroads after all. And spotting scopes installed for the Stuk. And yeah, Ace, infantry-wise, he's looking good. He just needs some more uh, Shermans here. Can he squeeze in? Yes. Squeeze in another EC-8 and then the Scott. I'd say that's what he needs in uh, in this situation here. And Theodosius, well... <sighs> I'd really love to see him tech up in order to get some Panthers out to help deal with the easy 8s But also a uh, Panzerwerfer. Um, just to get ready for the uh, later stages of the game here. How much? does he need to take off isn't it fairly cheap to escalate up fuel wise yeah only 35 fuel but then again those tanks that you have available to you in the heavy panzer corps not exactly cheap By the way, Ace, he should soon have enough for the uh, easy aid, making it the twice as easy 16. There we go. Any snares? Yes, he's prone. And gets the AT gun. 
Well, at this rate here, um, Theodosius may not be able to afford checking up because he needs to replace whatever he's about to lose here. Let it be P4 or Stuck. Oh boy, this is getting hammered down. The AT gun there. This is disastrous for Ace. <gasps> Stuck. Oh! Well, still a... A good trade for uh, Theodosius, I'd say. Stuk's only 90 fuel. Hmm. Not bad at all. Oh, the Major here, he's just gonna get mowed down like butter. And now Theodosius, he is good to go. He is feeling um, a little bit of breathing room here where he can actually advance into Ace's territory, not just being content with holding the middle as, yeah, Theodosius is doing what you should do in a situation like this. Don't allow your opponent just to sit on his side of the map and rebuild. So good play from Theodosius. So he's got the flank covered. Heavy machine gun over there. Watching the entire uh, entrance. Thanks to this here. This has been closed. Button her up. Big push coming through. Oh, you destroyed the only green cover that they were going to take. <sighs> Which side are you on anyway? Careful, that heavy machine gun could turn around. It probably should. <laughs> or maybe just retreat. Alright, Stuart on mob up duty over here. Since whatever was over here back. But not before actually they got decrapped. And now Ace. Back on the scene, getting that middle ground again, securing his own territory, and you guessed it, another Stuk. Uh, and what is this? Another AT gun. Well, all right. Another insensitive for Theodosius to take up, but oh well. We'll just have to see if he can keep his armor alive so he can rebuild that well restock on fuel maybe save some manpower to get uh, get teching but the p4s are doing very good versus infantry oh look at all this infantry here clumped up a scott would have been so nice in a situation like this p4 goes in Spots the Sherman and AT gun. Cannot stay. And disengages, but not before taking another shot. Main gun down. Ace. No, not pursuing. Back gun also down there. Stuart limping back. Might be destroyed if they get a Faust off. Targeting AT gun gets the Stuart. What was oh bazooka fire? It looked that bazooka round moved so slow. Well done, Stuck. Keep it up, and you'll earn your side armor for sure. Ah, uh, pack gun abandoned. Oh, is this the LMG? Yes, the LMG gang. Cutting down the other heavy machine gun. Ra 
tat 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 Also Mortar chipping in there destroying the green color. Thank you, Mortar. <sighs> and this heavy machine gun has moved up a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Vet to Sherman. With the focused gunnery. And back in base here. Let's see. Ace, ace, ace. Needing manpower to push out another tank. And let's check in on Theodosius here. No tech. But so far as he's actually been doing well with uh, what he's got available to him in terms of armor. Stuck and P4 doing wonder. This mortar here, dead free. Actually pretty close. Should be able to uh, do something about this, but also that up there. Turn hot, 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 hot. Yep, you guessed it. There were indeed a machine gun there. And boy, oh boy. Ace not only got his smoke, but this is uh, the kind of thing that stings real hard if you stick around. It really burns your skin. Bite Phosphorus, yeah. I played uh, Spec Ops. What's it called? Spec Ops Behind Enemy Lines? What's it called that? You know, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dubai. If any one of you have played it, excellent um, story in that game. German, another one of them, and Theodosius. I bet he wanted something stronger now in order to uh, make any push happening here because all of these riflemen, they have definitely dug in. Instead, he is going for another P4, which is all right. Two P4s and a Stuk. Mm. Yeah, he has no AT guns. <sighs> I'd say it would be a little too much for him to invest into an LEFH. I don't think it'll benefit him as much as a Panzerwerfer would. Let's have a look at the VPs here. It is still Theodosius who's in the lead, but he is losing VPs at a very slow rate. Oh, Telemine there. A little uh, protection from Theodosius, and that was a good hit. Could get a wipe. Well, we just lost the rear echelons. Taken down. Well, it looks like um, Theodosius' plan is to inch his way forward bit by bit, which is probably the most sensible choice given as he doesn't really have any rocket artillery here. Even the mortar squad, a rear armor hit on that Sherman. And there goes the AT gun, all right. Mm, well, the armor is in need of repairs here. So far, the Stug is um, getting some much needed love. kills is that mortar up to 12 ah, okay it's not not so devastating yet and again this heavy machine gun yep you guessed it's still there but again white phosphorus shells poor guy's skin i also read that uh, the first white phosphorus sh was uh, created by using large amount of urine the more you know. Set, 
Yeah, Stuk takes a bit of punishment, but is rewarded. One star. And Ace likes a little bit of manpower. I would definitely recommend going for the Scott now. Definitely a Scott. The Scott can sit back. Barrage. Which is, uh, yeah, it's getting excellent trades, you know? Just killing units at a distance without being harmed itself. But let's see if Ace can hear me. Ace! This is me from the future talking indirectly to you. Get a Scott. Great Scott! Well, he force and what else? Targeting the Sherman, but Sherman not taking any damage, and that's a bit free Sherman. Oh boy, oh boy. What's going on here? Fidocious. Not doing any damage to the Shermans. Imagine doing damage. Misses. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Finally, a little bit of damage, but what was that? Was that a. Yeah, Fancy Faust, apparently. However, Ace lacking manpower. He's just been reinforcing all of these dudes. Um, may I make a suggestion? Run. Wow, killer Shermans. Repair, 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 repair. Come on. Those Shermans, they won't wait for you to finish your repairs. P4, with its uh, spotting scope, did see what was coming. Squad pinned. And they are running. Smoke deployed by what? Oh, the Shermans are going in. Neato! But they'll be driving into a world of pain here. We got snares ready. Stooks, P4s. They back off into the smoke! Or not? This is a little bit of a... Tight spot here. Smoke being utilized. Attack round coming in. Stuck doing damage. Yeah, this Sherman here needs to retreat. That's a vet free. And this bad boy just earned his side skirts. And there is an AT gun over there. Oh boy. <gasps> a bounce! A miss! Now this is abandoned! But this will get abandoned as well. Counter abandoned! Do do do! Double Faust, not enough to do engine damage here. And he cannot crew this without losing a squad. Oh, a miss. And again, the tanks are in need of repairs. Here the pioneers, they have retreated. They're scrambling to get back onto the field. Meanwhile, I would imagine that this, yeah, it's slowly but surely getting its repairs done. Still fear those just in the lead when it comes to the VPs. And turn tails gets out of there. Leaving the heavy machine gun to be ever watchful. No phosphorus rounds available this time around as he is gonna run into this heavy machine gun again. But by the power of forgetting to reload, Ace pushes through, gets the heavy machine gun as it's now running back. Mortar sets up. And there it is, Lieutenant standing on negative cover. Not good, not good. There we go, 1p4, out there, both p4s have a deep and repaired, come on! Utilizing this here. Why are you parked? There we go, movement. Right on time as this Sherman coming in with its brother, who is bigger and better and has more stars. Miss. Hint, miss, hit, hit. Oh, 
Theodosia is not really doing an awful lot of damage here, but taking a lot of damage in return. Oh, sadly, he lost his AG guns. This is gonna fire. Oh boy. A nasty loss from Theo. <sighs> and Theodosius, he is just beaten mentally as he calls the GG. Look at all this! Look at all this fuel he had here! Oh well. Definitely beaten. Morale took a huge hit when he saw the little damage he did to these double Germans here. Ugh. And now Ace. Just diving in. Singara detected. Game over. Well, that'll be all. So, um, remember, like and subscribe. Dislike if you disliked it. And now, let's look at some stats here. And if you don't want to look at some stats, well, then we'll see. See you soon. Alrighty then, Theodosius killing it, but not doing all that much damage. Well, actually, that's a lot of damage, but Ace, he just did more. Graphs! Graphs! Yeah, you can see whenever uh, Ace decreases Sherman's <laughs> in order to repair. Ah, uh, yes. Resource float being resource float. The majority of this being fuel and munitions here from Theodosius didn't really have any command abilities that um, like off-map artillery that he could spend his munitions on <clears throat> oh point held yeah actually Theo holding the majority of the map here but it was Ace who took the cake Ace took the cake Captain dying quickly. Mm. But yeah, I think that'll be uh, all here for the units. Most damage taken from Stuk. Stuk 3G. And now for Mish. Oh, few. Dosius. Stuk. Doing a good chunk of damage there. But not as much as the pack gun. But yeah, that'll be all. So see you next time. Ta-ta.